Well, this is system number three that we were expecting to deal with over the course of the holiday weekend after late last week into this weekend. And right now it's just very spotty showers, very light, not a lot of accumulation. In fact, we're not really totaling too much. Currently in the Gilmore backyard, we have dry conditions, mostly cloudy skies. We'll see periods of some light showers coming through. Winds only maxing out at about 10 miles per hour. A sunrise tomorrow at 657. And at that point, we will see a few light showers again. As far as those accumulations, you can see it's very light mostly right along the northwest coast here, Ukiah, with about a quarter of an inch of rain. Everything else throughout the valley, a trace or less than that, and that will be the case even through tomorrow. This system just isn't really potent. It's heading more to the north of us than, say, a direct hit into central and northern California. Temperatures today mid to upper 50s through the valley, including Fairfield at 56 and Modesto and Sacramento, 55 for Marysville, Oroville and Butte County there, 56 for Stockton and San Joaquin County, 59, Jackson, 49, Placerville, 48, and Auburn, 50. In the high country, we talked out right around the mid to upper 30s. Wasn't a terribly warm day anywhere with a lot of cloud cover. Ed Englehart submitting this photo over in uh, LaGrange. What I really love on this, even though we're a bit behind on our rainfall and snowfall, the grass is so green as you drive through the hills. Sure is pretty with the blue skies and some of those puffy white clouds. Upload those photos on the ABC 10 app where you can also Stay up to date on all the weather changes as little waves of moisture will come through for tomorrow. But like I said, we are really going to struggle to draw out much in accumulated rain from this. Uh, less than a tenth of an inch really throughout the valley. We'll be lucky if we get about two tenths to about a quarter of an inch for the foothills. And for the Sierra, we'll have that winter weather advisory in place starting at midnight. That's going to last all the way through tomorrow afternoon, and that'll give us roughly about two to eight inches of snow above 7,000 feet. Winds, not too much of a problem, occasional gusts, and that will cause some travel delays. Here you can see some light showers moving through on and off throughout the day for the valley and the Sierra, but it's been a really sloppy mix up in the Sierra. This storm system has some warmth to it. Snow levels are going to rise to about 65 feet, which will be below past level, but again, pretty messy for tomorrow. Most of the rain out of here by about six o'clock in the evening for the valley, and then everything winds down as we head towards midnight. After that, we're under this ridge of high pressure. Really aren't expecting much in the way of wet weather until we get later in the week, and this weather system coming in, still uncertain if we're actually going to be able to draw any rain or snow from it. Doesn't hit until late Thursday through Friday. That's what we'll be tracking into this week. Highs tomorrow close to 40 for this year, 40s and 50s as we head down the hill with our five day forecast really showing dry weather Tuesday, Wednesday and most of Thursday until we get to Friday morning. That's when we have the best opportunity to see some showers. Highs in the 50s and 60s across the coast and we'll also see those 50s and 60s as we start to head inland. Not a real wild swing from morning lows to afternoon highs. Right about 50 for morning lows and right about 60 for afternoon highs. 10 day forecast light chance of showers on Friday and then we get to some warm weather by the end of the weekend and next week.